Hopefully you've seen my previous videos about finding the nth term rule for sequences. I just wrote down two number sequences uh, for you to try, yeah, and then um, uh, you can look at my answers afterwards. Yeah? So the question is, what is the nth term rule? And let's say then you have to use that rule to find the value of term 50. Okay, so have a go. Hopefully you've tried it. Let's have a, have a look. I'm going to do this relatively quickly. The term to term rule is plus four. Let me check that. Plus four, yeah. So I'm going to write down four n immediately. Is my first term four? No, it's three. What do I have to add or subtract to go from four to three? I have to take away one. I always ch check myself that because that is actually it. Uh, that's the end of term rule. Let's say for term three. So four times three is 12 minus one is 11. One, two, three, indeed it is 11. I have to use this rule to find term 50. So I replace n, uh, which is the term number for 50, because I want the 50th term, minus one. Four times 50 is 200, minus one, 199 is the value of term 50. So if I would continue with plus four, 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 plus four up till term 50, I'm gonna get 199. This is a lot quicker. All right, second question. What is the term to term rule? Minus three, minus three, mi minus three it is, so minus three n. I check my first term, is it minus three? No, it's four, so what do I have to add or subtract to go from minus three to four? I have to add seven. That's my term to term rule, my nth term rule, I should say. Uh, let me check that for, let's say, term number five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, minus eight it should be. Minus three times five is minus 15, plus seven indeed is minus eight. So that's correct. Use that to find the value of term 50. Minus three times n, so minus three times 50, plus seven, minus 150 plus seven minus 143. So if I would continue and take away three up till term 50, I will get minus 143. All right, so uh, this was just the concluding, um, the concluding video about sequences. Uh, hopefully you've seen the previous parts as well. Otherwise, you can go to my site, explainingmaths.com uh, or my Facebook and uh, ask me your questions and I will help you there. Okay, I'll see you later. Have a good day.